Hey guys, Tuesday update, Tony George, DocSports.com. It is June 26th, and we got a free Major League Baseball play coming your way, a totals play today here on the video. Winner yesterday with Seattle. Um, also a 2-0 sweep, as I told you, really uh, pushing the pedal to the metal this week in Major League Baseball off a down week last week, and uh, told you we were dialed in and tapping a few information sources. Like how that sun goes in and out right there? Look at that. Yeah, nonetheless, uh, we got a 2-0 sweep yesterday, Royals under, and we had uh, a winner last night for yesterday as well with Tampa Bay all over the Yank oh, all over Washington. You know, I've been fading Gio Gonzalez this year, uh, especially recently, and uh, I rode him like a horse last year and early parts of this year, especially with some totals placed, but uh, he's fallen on hard times there at Washington. Note to self, by the way. Um, nonetheless, uh, an undefeated day yesterday, and uh, we're back for more here on Tuesday. A four-unit singled-out best bet in Major League Baseball. Just one play, one play only. Very tricky board today. You spread it around the day. Um, you're liable to get in trouble. There's some real, uh, you know, just tricked-up lines out there and some scenarios where there could be a lot of underdog covers today. So you, you're going to want to be careful. Um, that being said, WNBA fires back up today. Why not another top play? Come on. You know, um, he put out uh, uh, a play overnight. Um, going to be the game of the week. And we're going to put it on a doubleheader card. A five-unit top play and a three-unit play on our first doubleheader of the year in the WNBA. He loves the board today. And we're going to bank it off with a top play. Remember, off an eight-unit game of the year winner on Sunday. With the L.A. Sparks, no sweat winner, 16 points over the number. And uh, he's dialed in 62% over our last two weeks in the WNBA. Top play, doubleheader card, 100% pure profit guarantee behind it. So be sure, as it is with every play over at Docs. And we were talking about Doc Sports uh, yesterday and some of the things that are coming up. Uh, we're developing for football season a uh, mass media page. It's going to be awesome. A lot of the handicappers there are going to have podcasts. I know Rafael Esparza and uh, I believe Alan Harris have their own podcast over at iTunes. Um, the name escapes me, but they've been doing it for a couple years. That's going to be up there. Myself, newcomer to Docs, but not newcomer to the business. Las Vegas handicapping and legend uh, Scott Spritzer on board. Scott and I are going to have our own show uh, weekly. Uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be uh, broadcast from one of the uh, sports books here in town. We're finalizing that right now. Uh, going to have a uh, live video stream. It's going to be awesome on YouTube Live, everywhere else. Carried on some other websites, but nonetheless, carried on Doc's website, the most important website you need to be at. And don't forget, if you're a, a new member. Uh, you get over to Docs, you get a free 60 bucks parked in your account. What are play packages a day? I don't know. I think they're 30 bucks. That's two days of plays for free, and they're backed by 100% pure profit guaranteed as if you actually paid for the place. It's a win-win. DocSports.com. Get on board uh, today. All new members on the house, 60 bucks. Come on. You, know, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So uh, be sure and get over to Docs for that. But yeah, exciting news. Uh, Scott and I will be doing a show. Uh, Scott's doing daily videos, doing real well over over there. I know he's doing a lot. Of, he's been on a roll in baseball. And and um, I don't know, he's a big Canadian football handicapper too. So those of you wanting Canadian football, CFL action, um, it's there. Uh, also, don't forget the World Cup's going on. And there's a ton of guys. I don't do it, but a ton of guys over at Docs doing World Cup. And doing it well, and they're all guaranteed. Be sure to check out Docs. Uh, let's get after it here today uh, for you. I took a look at some games here today, and uh, this one jumped off the board at me. I just like my side play better. I almost made a double header today with this with this play, but I really like the side play. And as I told you, prudent, low volume. Dial it in and get the wins this week. Okay, plus six units yesterday, which really helped. 
and uh, a 2-0 and day. So we're just going to go with one singled outside play. This will be a no-sweat winner tonight for my four-unit play. But this play almost made the card. Now, I like the Oakland-Detroit over. Oakland's just on an over run here. They're 11-2 and two of their last uh, 13 games on the over. Um, last night, uh, and, you know, Detroit, they're on a slide. Well, they lost six in a row. They had a 4-1 lead going in, I believe, to the seventh last night and lost 5-4. You know, they just can't put it together. And part of the reason why is their bullpen, which is why I like the over in this game. You know? Um, both, Neither bullpen is worth crap. Yeah, that's a little sweat dripping. Yeah, it's already like 90-some degrees. It's going to be like 112 degrees here today. That's going to come in real handy. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, um, Detroit's bullpen Last five games, 9.82 ERA, and their starters, 5.96. Oakland's bullpen, yeah, not a, not even a little below average. Their last five, 5.09 ERA, their starters, 6.04. How they win, and they're beating people by putting runs up. That's why they're on the overs. Okay, now you got Hardy taking on Montes today. Yeah, you know, some pretty decent numbers, but you go to those bullpens late in the game. Just like last night, they're going to put runs up late in the game here. Oakland scoring 5.56. No, pardon me. Yeah, 5.56. I got the notes right here. 5.56 runs on the road this year and allowing 4.9. And Detroit, you know, 4.68 at home. You think after six losses, they're going to be hungry for a win today and come out swinging for the fences? Hell yes. Total nine. I'll go over nine. Detroit, Oakland, today. You know, and we're catching Montes off. In, both these pitchers are off really good outings. And I still don't know how many times I've said this here before. A lot of times, not every time, but the majority of the times, I always look to fade pitchers off an outstanding performance because they never can match it the second time around. They just had that magic in the bottle for six or seven innings the game before. Um, and both these guys are off pretty good outings which I think is keeping this number down a little bit. So we're going to go over Oakland, Detroit here on Tuesday. WNBA on a roll. Five-unit top play and a three-unit bonus play on there. Eight units of action in the WNBA. Let's get it done. Let's get it done big. And Major League Baseball, cherry pick special. Four units. Get to docs right there. Go get it. Best of luck here on Tuesday.